Sunball Zoo is set to release its latest family of monarch butterflies, and you're invited to check it out. Nick Milbratz from the zoo joins us tonight for the 7 Conversation to talk more about this. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So before we talk about the release, let's talk about the butterfly. We see monarch butterflies around West Michigan, but they're actually considered an endangered species. Is that right? That's correct. It was added to the list not too long ago, but they've they've been um, dealing with quite a few different problems that have reduced their population drastically. So part of what makes these kinds of events so fun is that it's a testament to the conservation work that the zoo does, not just for the monarch butterflies, but for other endangered and threatened species. So this release will be held on Saturday. Tell us about the conservation work that is happening at the zoo. So we um, have quite a few different conservation projects. Um, not only do we help support um, different conservation programs like the Red Panda Network and Wild Chimpanzee Fund. Uh, we actually do field work for the box turtle or um, on-site work. We're saving the Powashik Skipperling from extinction and doing releases into the wild to help that butterfly as well. And so I feel like it might surprise some people that a zoo is so involved in conservation work. Why is it so important at the John Ball Zoo? Um, it's really why we're here saving wildlife and wild places so we're connecting people to the animals here at the zoo that they might not get a chance to see um, and how having those connections form help them care about the animals in the wild so that we can make sure that they're around for future generations so back to that beautiful monarch butterfly this event is this saturday tell us all about it yeah, it's one of my favorite days that we celebrate here at the zoo. Uh, it gets uh, families involved in these monarch releases. There's going to be lots of fun activities and entertainment, but um, starting at 11 every hour, we'll be releasing monarch butterflies, and each monarch is going to have a tag on it with a unique ID, and you'll have a copy of that ID number so you can help track the monarch and how far it makes it on its journey. Um, and citizen scientists will go out they, and collect that information to help make sure um, the population is doing well and if they're not, where the problems are along their migratory path. Yeah. Wow, that is really cool. I bet kids absolutely love that. And before we go, how can people at home help monarchs thrive here in West Michigan? So one of the other conservation projects we're doing is here in, for your own backyard. It's called our Habitat Heroes program. And um, if you visit tomorrow, uh, we are handing out uh, assorted plants that are native to Michigan that help support all pollinator species, whether it's hummingbirds, other species of butterfly and monarch specifically. And that's, that's what they need to make that almost 3,000 mile journey from Michigan to Mexico where they overwinter and then they head back to Michigan the next year. So if we don't keep giving them those way stations, um, nectaring plants to fuel up, then they won't be able to make that journey. Very cool. Nick from the John Ball Zoo, thank you so much for joining us.